Well, switching gears now, the sex abuse scandal in the Diocese of Buffalo has ramped back up with allegations against active priests. The diocese says it is investigating many of those claims, but the practice of the church investigating itself is now being called into question. I-Team Chief Investigator Charlie Speck learned that the diocese pays for the investigators the church uses for these cases. I was definitely assaulted and I definitely was molested uh, by Father Ryder, 100%. When Bishop Richard Malone appeared on ABC News Nightline last week, he defended his decision to return Father Dennis Ryder to ministry despite three sexual abuse allegations. Do you think okay. the parents of those kids would be completely comfortable if they knew all I, the facts? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm comfortable because I know a thorough investigation was done by a competent professional. That professional is Scott Reardon, a lawyer and judge in the village of Kenmore who is paid by the diocese to investigate sex abuse cases against priests. The church touts the fact that Reardon is a former sex crimes prosecutor for the Erie County DA, but survivors of clerical sex abuse are calling his methods into question. I did not meet with Scott Reardon, and I will tell you why. Ann Fossler says she was abused as a child by Monsignor John Ryan, who Bishop Malone returned to ministry last week despite multiple accusations. Because the diocese had said he was a prosecutor of sexual abuse crimes. But when I went to his website, he's actually listed as a defense attorney for sex crimes. And his nickname is The Wolf. That's right. While Reardon did work as a prosecutor more than a decade ago, he now earns his money defending people accused of sex crimes. His website asks people if they've been accused of rape, sex abuse, or child pornography. It calls him determined, aggressive, and tenacious, and says, get arrested, call the wolf. The reality is these investigations are, for the most part, a public relations effort by the diocese. And a way to limit their liability. That's all it is. Mike Reck is a lawyer who represents both Fossler and this man, who's also accused Ryan of sexual abuse. Like Fossler, he says Ryan abused him inside the priest's car. Like her, the survivor never spoke with Reardon, though not for lack of trying. I was willing to speak to them from day one, and I kept getting kind of pushed back and, and, and blown off, and minimized, and I was put through a runaround, told that they had, didn't have time to speak with me yet, they weren't prepared for the amount of cases that they were going to receive. He says months went by, and the diocese rejected him from its compensation program without an interview. Reardon's only serious effort to interview him, he said, was after the Child Victims Act had become law. It's, it's, it's a scam. Ruck was blown away by the church's initial outreach. The diocese lawyer responded and said, essentially, hey, do you think that your client, this survivor, has the wrong guy? And when I inquired as to why I was getting that phone call, the response was, because there was an organ player in that parish who was also a molester. Diocesan attorney Lawler Quinlan confirmed that he spoke with Rec and said he, quote, often asks attorneys this question because in the past several accusers have identified the wrong priests as their abuser. But Rec said the diocese then made what he calls a, quote, dangerous and outlandish request. They asked if the survivor would be willing to meet with Monsignor Ryan face to face. Now stop for a second and think about that. The institution that failed these kids just suggested that one of those kids go back in a room face to face with the abuser. That's why this survivor has given up on the Diocese of Buffalo and is turning instead to the FBI. He says the two federal agents who came to his home were more understanding than the church. I didn't feel rushed. I didn't feel um, minimized. I didn't feel condescended to. Um, they were in my house in a week and the man who was supposed to be in charge of investigations for the diocese couldn't reach out to me or speak with me in almost a year. Now we should say that neither Mr. Reardon nor the Diocese of Buffalo responded for a request for a comment. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. More important reporting from our Charlie Speck here tonight. All right.